St Catharines. This week is National School Sports Week and so our video today is all about trick box. It's lovely to see everybody and we thought we'd tell you some ideas about keeping positive during this kind of strange time. Life gives us all sorts of strange adventures. Some are exciting and planned for and some are a bit unusual and unplanned and can make us feel slightly worried. The important thing is, is how you choose to react to these adventures, whether you're going to embrace them and be positive, or are you going to get heavy and fed up and not enjoy the things that are presented to you. So we thought we'd give you some ideas to try and embrace the positive in each situation wherever you can and choose the sunny side of life. First of all, this reminded me of a film I used to watch when I was younger called Pollyanna. Ooh, it's a very old film, but it's a great message. And this girl had quite a tricky start in her life, but she chose to see the sunny side. And that made her life and all the people around her have a much more positive experience. This also reminded me of a great game I play in school sometimes with some of the children that I work with called Fortunately, Unfortunately. And it's something you could do at home. And we're going to show you, Mrs. Thompson and I, how to play it. So, um, so, like we said, it's it's important to try and look on the bright side sometimes. And you can choose to be sunny side, or sometimes fed up side, downside, cloudy side. You choose. So we're going to start the game and you can see how we do this and turn something negative into a positive. The first situation we're going to talk about is, unfortunately, my mum said I couldn't go to my friend's house. Fortunately, I have an iPad, so I thought I would FaceTime them instead. Unfortunately, the iPad had run out of charge and I couldn't use it. Fortunately, our phone line is still working, so I thought I'd pick up the phone and give her a ring. Perfect. The other situation we thought we'd play the game with was, unfortunately, my football training was cancelled. Fortunately, I have a football at home, so I thought I'd kick a ball around in the garden. Unfortunately, when I looked, my football had a puncture. Fortunately, I remembered we had some other balls in the back of the garage, so I went to have a rummage to see what else I could find. Brilliant. Problem sorted. And the last scenario we thought we'd show you was about, unfortunately, I dropped my favourite bag in a puddle. So I'm going to give Mrs Fuggle the chance oh. to have the sunny side. Thank so you, you so find much. the sunny side, Mrs right. Fuggle. OK. Bag in the side. Unfortunately, I had dropped my bag in a puddle. Fortunately, a kind friend picked it up for me, took it into school and dried it off. Unfortunately, it still wasn't completely dry by the time I had to go home. Fortunately, one of our lovely staff members found me a plastic bag to put my bag inside so I could carry it home safely. Try it at home and see what some solutions you can come up with. Solution thinking is the way forward. This reminds me of one of our trick box um, cards, which is Sunnyside. This one I try and use a lot. It's okay to feel fed up sometimes, and we all are allowed those feelings, and that's fine. But it's important not to get stuck there, not to get stuck under a cloud for too long. That's not so healthy for us. So choosing sunny side helps us to train our brain to look at the positives all around us. And by thinking more positively, this becomes a habit, a really good habit that will help you to build resilience and cope with the things that get thrown your way. So by trying all these different ideas, you too can be a positive thinker and not a mood hoover, hoovering up all the goodness around you. Yeah. Is there anything else, Mrs Fuggle, that we could buy or parents could do to help us? Well, do you know what? I was shopping in Sainsbury's the other day and I came across this great book called Be Positive. And inside there are some amazing quick 
and creative ideas that you could try at home really, really easily. There's things like, for example, make a bee positive jumper. What sort of slogans could you write on a t-shirt or a design on a jumper to keep you thinking positively? Or it could be make a jazzy jar of joy. Get an empty box or an empty jar and fill it with all sorts of things that bring joy to you or your family and friends. And when you're feeling a bit fed up, pull one out and remind yourself of the things you could do or things that remind you of happy times. So I think something like that, make your own Be Positive book and see if you can make joy around you in your life. So try this week to remember to look on the sunny side. See you soon, St Catharines. Goodbye. Bye.